ECAN as a regional council was formed in 1991. A regional council's primary role is to give effect to many of the requirements in the RMA. Many of the leases that we have out there predate that. Um, and those leases were granted at a time when the, the major focuses of the local government agencies like catchment boards and, 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 and pest boards was focused on river protection, um, pest control and erosion control. It, it really wasn't until 2010-11 when the Natural Resources um, um, the regional plan came into force and then again in 2016 when the Land and Water Regional Plan was finally operated, um, operative that we ended up with a set of rules, a set of very comprehensive rules that, that are very, very clear in terms of, 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 of protecting braided rivers and river margins. And we're continuing to work on making those clearer so that farmers and other land owners are in no doubt about what they can and can't do. We currently have a, a plan change going through its final stages that will um, make it even clearer in terms of the protection that's required of braided rivers. So what we have here is a, is a historical problem, a problem which is based on past practices that are no longer followed. Um, the focus on biodiversity is relatively recent at, at, a, at, a, at a widespread level. There have all, always been people who've been passionate about these issues but those concerns have not been reflected into regulation but quite recently. So um, a, an historical problem, something that we have to take seriously, something we do take seriously, and there may be opportunities for us in the future to, to, to take back some of that land, but much of it has been developed and um, it's going to be very hard in the case of, for example, where, where a farmer has invested in, in, a, in a dairy farm, which is quite an expensive activity, to make changes to that within the terms of the current consent. And some of those consents may be 20 odd years or even longer. So we will endeavour to improve the practices wherever we can on existing farmland to ensure that um, um, as little damage is, is done to braided rivers and river margins as possible. I also think we have to keep on looking for opportunities where we can um, to to review consents where it's possible to do that. And especially for ECAN, you know, where we renew leases, where farmers have been using that land for quite some time, to ensure that we have provisions and conditions in those leases that do all, we, that do all they can uh, to, provide, um, to, um, to provide protection um, to braided rivers and the river margin. But I think as Jen Miller has said, the real focus for all of us in the future should be on protecting what hasn't actually been damaged or destroyed so far. And that's the, that's the braided rivers and river margins in the high country. And I, that's where um, I think all the agencies concerned, DOC, LINS, ECAN, um, Federated Farmers who have a big role to play in this, and of course uh, for, uh, Forest and Bird, really need to come together and work on a strategy for the whole of Canterbury um, that will look after those areas that, that haven't yet been sort of damaged or, or, um, or, or have suffered.